out there, we're on the air, it's hockey night tonight. Tension grows, the whistle blows, and the puck goes down the ice. The goalie jumps, and the players bump, and the fans all go insane. Someone roars, Bobby scores at the good old hockey game. Oh, the good old hockey game is the best game you can name. And the best game you can name is the good old hockey game. Period. It was a final game, best of five. It was against Mount Royal College in, from Calgary. Uh, the leading scorer from Calgary had a breakaway, and uh, I uh, kind of didn't know what to do, and all of a sudden, bang, he's on a breakaway, and I just turned the jets on and skated down the ice as fast as I could, stuck in front of me, and I sweeped the puck off his stick, and uh, I fell into him and then he went into the goal post and I went into the boards and broke my ankle. They say you could hear the crack all over the the arena with my leg. And then after that they took me to the hospital and found out it was broken and the game went into three periods of overtime. He loved it. it that was his whole life was his hockey because he used to watch his father play hockey when he was little when his father played hockey for the armed forces. And his father used to take him to um, to the rink and he, he'd go out on the ice for a while with the, uh, the, with the hockey team. And then, then he'd have to go off, of course. Eh? Yeah. Just outside of the house, sir, we had an outdoor rink. And it was priceless. Put on a pair of skates and he'd run and he'd fall. He'd run and he'd fall. But, wasn't very much, uh, very much longer. Uh, uh, the, we had a, a Pee Wee All-Star team, and that was this team here. Yeah, as you can see, it says uh, Selkirk 1965 Pee Wees, and also the nickname of the of the hockey team, like not the Toronto Maple Leafs, but it was the Selkirk Junior Fishermen. Well, they were they were kind of wondering. They seen this guy walking around on crutches, and. Uh... I told them who I was, and then they says, "Oh, this is you." So, I said, "We actually we came to watch you play hockey." And I says, "Well, I said, it's kind of hard to play with a broken ankle, and I never had the chance." My chance at the OHL was I went down to the Ottawa 67s camp, and uh, I was 18 at the time, and I uh, went down and uh, I tried out and. Uh, they said that they wanted me to play for their junior B team until they asked me how old I was and I told them I was 18 and uh, they only wanted 16 year olds to play with them so they can wean them and bring them up. I was too old so uh, when I did try out for the Ottawa 67s it was Dennis Potvin and Michelle Larocque, the goaltender, were playing and Ian Turnbull, uh, a few others that, are, that made the NHL. I, I was honored just to even have a tryout with them. Uh, other NHL players that I've played with were uh, the Sutter brothers that are famous worldwide. Uh, they were called Daryl and Dwayne. They, they were at the college and they decided to play college hockey that year at the start. And then uh, they uh, didn't like it because there wasn't too many, uh, that many games in the schedule. So they decided to go play uh, Junior A, which was their mistake because that was the year that we were the best team in Canada. Uh, he wasn't a dirty hockey player, but uh, he, he, he wasn't afraid to rough it up. He was not a goon hockey player. He wasn't a dirty hockey player, but don't cross his path. They ran the goaltender, and uh, I didn't like that, and so I dropped the gloves and went at it. And, and of course, our coach was dead against fighting, but I felt it was necessary to set a precedent. And then while we were in the penalty box, we started the old usual beacon off of one another and so finally the guy stepped on the ice again and I dropped the gloves again and, and went at it. It was a team from, uh, it was actually, it was Toronto Maple Leafs there. I had a chance to go down to uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma and play for the semi-pro tryout but I didn't go. He'd hurt his leg and uh, it was in that tournament and uh, we got talking back and forth, and uh, I, I don't think he would have uh, he would have lasted it. He said he was never sorry 
that he didn't try out for the uh, the the uh, semi-pro team, eh? Because he he was invited to go. I even asked him a while back. I said, "Are you? Have you ever thought about you know why you didn't go?" And he said, "No." He was glad he didn't go. I felt an education was more important, and I wanted to get an education, and I, and I loved where I the surroundings, and I, I felt I my my new.